What's going on guys, John Holder here from Conevy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a splash screen with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video we're going to look at splash screens, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, that's all my courses, videos, and books, for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, I've been getting a lot of questions about splash screens lately, so I thought I'd do a video on it. In fact, we've already pretty much learned almost everything we need to learn in order to do splash screens throughout other videos in this playlist, but I'm going to put it all together in this video and show you at least one way to do it. Now, there are probably dozens of ways to do splash screens because you're really just throwing up a window, doing whatever you want to it, setting it on a timer for three or five seconds, and then making it go away, right? So that's all it is. So we know how to make other windows with Kinter. We've done lots of videos on that. We know how to use timers. We've done a few videos on that. So we're really just kind of putting it together with a little bit of a spin on it. So it is Monday morning here in Vegas. Man, it got cold last night. We got a polar front came through the desert. It's crazy. It's like, well, cold for us. It's like 40 degrees outside. So it's going to warm up throughout the day. But man, it is cold right now. So, all right. So we've got some basic Kinter starter code that we always have here. I've got a file called splash.py. And we're using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. So this is going to be a little bit different. Right off the bat, we're going to get rid of this root or the main loop. And I'll show you why in just a second. We're just going to call a main loop. So let's map this out. Let's think about what we want to do. We want to create a little window that pops up right when our program first starts. And it's going to be the splash screen. And it's going to say, stay up for three seconds, five seconds, something like that. So we need a window for that. So instead of starting with the root stuff like we usually do, I'm going to kind of push this down a little bit. Let's just start up by creating right off the bat another window. And I'm going to call this splash underscore root as opposed to just the regular root. You can call anything you want. And this is a TK instance, capital T, lowercase k, right? And then we can just do all the things we always do. So splash root dot title. And we actually aren't going to have a title bar. I'll show you how to take that off. But if you didn't want to take off the title bar, you would put, you know, splash screen, right? Whatever. It's a lowercase p there. And we could go splash dot geometry to pick whatever you know size we want. So let's say 300 by 200. Now I'm also going to go plus negative 1500 plus 250. You will not do this, right? You do not do this. I'm just doing this because I have two monitors and I want this splash screen to show up on this monitor so you guys could see it right off the bat so I don't have to drag it over because we're not going to have a title bar for this later on. So there's nothing for me to be able to drag over. So I'm just going to have it like this so that it appears on this monitor. But like I said, you will take off this whole thing. So yours will just be 300 by 200 and then quotation marks, right? Okay. So, all right, geometry. Now, I'm going to leave the title bar on there for now. We'll take that off in just a second. So we've got this thing and it's going to it's going to start right off the bat. And I'm going to grab this little bit of code here and put it down here too as well. So if we just save this and run it now, and let's go Python splash dot pi. Uh oh, oh, typo. It's Monday morning splash underscore root. There we go. So, okay, that looks good. Now let's run this guy again. And we can see both of these things just pop right up, right? So that's no good. What we need is only the splash screen to start at first. So what we can do is take all of this and put it in its own function. So I'm going to define our own function and I'm going to call this main main window, whatever, right? And then I'm going to grab all of this stuff and tab it over inside of this function. So now if we save this, we're not actually ever calling this function. We're just calling this one right off the bat. So if we save this and run it, you'll see, boom, we just get the splash screen and nothing else. And we can close it, nothing else happens. Okay, so we're getting there. Now we need to put that splash screen up only for a certain amount of time, right? So, and actually, so let's create a label. I'm gonna call this splash underscore label. And this is gonna be a label and we wanna put this in splash underscore root. Now, normally we put these in root, but we want this in the splash screen. So we're gonna put it in splash root. We're gonna give this a text of, let's say splash screen. Woohoo! Exclamation point. 
And let's give this a font equals, let's say Helvetica and like size 18, just to make it a little bigger so that we can read it. And then we can splash underscore label dot pack this guy. And let's give this a pad Y of 20, just to push it down the screen a little bit. Now let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure I didn't mess that up. Cause Hey, it's Monday morning and okay. Well, it's a splash screen. So, all right. Yippity do no big deal, but we've got something on there now. Now you would obviously put whatever you wanted on your splash screen there, make it any size you want, make it, you know, add images, add graphics, whatever you want. You know how to do that already. You can watch other videos from this playlist. The link is in the comment section below if you wanted to do that. Uh, but I'm just going to assume you already know what you want in your splash screen thing. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So, okay. Now we want to get rid of this whole window after let's say three seconds. So let me make a comment here. So let's put a uh, splash screen timer. Now we've done timers before, so let's go splash underscore root, which is the window, right? Which is what we've called it up here, right? So splash underscore root and let's go dot after. And so let's say after three seconds, 3000 milliseconds, what do we want to do? Well, we want to run this main window function so we can just boom, call this main run window function, right? So this will then throw up this new window but we also need to get rid of our splash screen, right? So we need to get, let's just right off the bat, let's just kill this guy. And to do that, we can call splash underscore root dot destroy, right? So that will destroy this guy and then make all the rest of this stuff. So, okay, let's give this a try, see if this worked. So let's run this guy, 1001, 1002, 1003, boom, disappears. Here's our main app. And if we move this around, we can see up yep, the splash screen is gone. If we close this, boom, that's closed. Now, one thing to notice, everything we need to do for the rest of our app needs to be inside of this function now. So if, for instance, we want to create a label. So let's go uh, main underscore label, and that's going to be a label. And we want to put it in root, and we want the text to equal main screen. And let's give this a font equals trusty Helvetica and make this size 18. So it's nice and big. And then we can main underscore label dot pack. Give this a pad Y of 20, just to push it down the screen a little bit. Okay. So if we save this and run it, now we can count 1001, 1002, 1003, boom, disappears. Here's our main screen. Now, what happens if we take it out of there? Well, we start to have problems, right? So, I could just copy this and instead of putting it in this function, let's put it outside of the function function. See now it's not indented inside of this function here. So if we save this and run it, we get a, we get an error because it's calling root, right? If we look at our code, this label, we're saying, Hey, put it in a root, but root doesn't exist yet because this function hasn't been called yet. Right? So that's a problem. So like I said, everything you need to do, you need to put it in this new function. Now you can move these around instead of putting this in the function, you can put the splash root in the function. And then you could call your main root window when your program starts, and then you can like hide it, de-iconify it. We've looked at that in other videos. If you need to know how to do that, go check the video that I did on creating new windows. It shows you all about hiding windows, I think. It's been a while since I did that video, but I think it says it in there. <laughs> if not, let me know and I'll do a video on how to hide windows. But you could just create this regular window off the bat right at the beginning and hide it and then throw up this thing on a timer and then delete it in the same way we just did right here after the timer extends or after the timer ends. Right. And then you wouldn't have to put everything else of your app inside of a function like this, or you could just do it like that. It really doesn't matter. Uh, it's Monday morning and this is the first way that came to my mind when I thought about how to do this. So I just did it this way. But like I said, there are dozens of ways you could do this. The main thing here is this timer, right? Throwing up a timer and this is three seconds. We could put it five seconds if we want. Now, one thing to check out, let's save this and run it. Let's look at our splash screen. We still got this title bar at the top with these buttons up here, right? Four or five, boom, it disappears. If we want to get rid of that, we can do that, which is a splash screen. You probably want to get rid of that thing, right? Um, so to do that, let's come up here where we define this thing and let's go splash underscore root. And this is going to be dot override redirect. And we want to set that equal to true. And let's make a little comment here. Let's say hide the title bar. 
So that's over ride, there we go, ride redirect, right? So if we save this and run it, you see the title bar now is gone and we just have a screen. That's more like a splash screen, right? There's usually not a title bar and then it disappears and boom, our main screen pops up. So again, down here, we're calling main loop instead of the normal root dot main loop. Why is that? Well, that's because remember our root window is only defined once this function gets called. And when the program first starts, there has this function hasn't been called yet. So there is no root. So if we called root dot main loop right here, we'd get that same error again. It'd say, hey, what's root, right? So it's like right here, name root is not defined, right? So just to get around that, we just call the main loop just like that. And this tends to work <laughs> so we can get away with it. And uh, there we go, four, five, there you go. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. Save pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.